I think I've done something by this guy. But, oh, yeah. Hey, guys, that's me, Bodling. And I think I've done something by this guy before, uh, DBZ Pony Ninja. DBZ Pony Ninja. I think I've done something by him before. He has 21 stories, so I am relatively sure. Yeah, Adventure Time meets My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. I tried to read that. Uh... 54 people follow this person. I love this. Five thumbs up, four thumbs down. He's really trying. Summertime is here in the human world, and Sunset Shimmer decides to use the portal to Equestria to visit Princess Twilight Sparkle and her friends. Sure. Slice of life. So Sunset Shimmer's baking in Equestria. Sunset Shimmer's baking in Equestria. Sunset Sun's bake before we get crack, crack, crack. That's what I said. Good. <coughs> I'm not tracking this, no. Vacation! That's chapter one. The students at Canterlot High are eagerly counting down the clock, for soon school will end and the first day of summer vacation will begin. All of the students start counting down the final moments of today's school day and the start of their summer vacation. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody from the teachers to the students, and even Vice Principal Celestia and Vice Principal Luna... Versus... Okay. Rush out of the school building. <laughs> Blank, 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 all the names. Gather around the school statue at Portal to Equestria to discuss her plans for summer vacation. Rainbow Dash tells all of her friends, I'm inviting every single one of you to come with me to the beach tomorrow. We're going to relax on the beach and surf the waves together on the beach. And just for rarity, we'll even put down time to go shopping at some point on the beach. So what do you say? Want to come with me? Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, and Rarity all agree that they want to go along. However, Sunset Shimmer had other plans in mind. Sunset Shimmer told her, oh yeah, there isn't a, a Twilight at all. Wow, thank you, Rainbow Dash, but I'll have to decline. I have other plans in mind. I scrolled down too fast. Rarity asked her in the high society with a hint of British accent that she talks in with piqued interest. <laughs> Is this guy like the son of Apple Short? <laughs> That was beautiful. I need to read it again. Rarity asked her in the high society with a hint of British accent that she talks in with piqued interest. Oh, do tell us what other your other plans are, darling. Not, not. Oh wow! What's the opposite to your with an R E? You are, I am. What I mother plans are? There we go. That's the opposite. Not what I mother plans are. What your other plans are? <laughs> Sunshine Shimmer told her, S I'm going to do that all the time. Sunshine Shimmer told her, I'm going to use the portal to go to Equestria and hang out with Princess Twilight Spike and all the pony versions of all of you. They all told her at the same time, well, that sounds like fun. Just make sure to tell Princess Twilight hi from all of us while you're there, okay? Sunset told her, told all of them at the same time, I will. Wow, this is really interesting and holding my interest. <laughs> Piggy asked her in the high-pitched, high-energy voice that she talks in, Versus what? Wait, you didn't tell us when you were planning. Oh, wait, you didn't tell us when you were planning to go. Sunset Shimmer told her, "Oh yeah, that's right. Well, I'm actually gonna leave right now. Bye, girls. I'll tell you all about when I come back." <laughs> Sunset Shimmer shouted for the portal to stuck right in it. <laughs> blank, 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 blank. All set upon seeing her stand right before them. Sunset Shimmer. Yeah. That was a confusing little paragraph. But that's the end of the first chapter. I can hardly believe it myself. I'll walk around Ponyville. Sunset Shimmer told her friends, Hey, Princess... Oh, hey, Princess Twilight. I bet you're wondering while I'm here. Well, back in Canterlot City, <laughs> it's fun vacation times, and I decided to spend vacation time at Equestria, more particularly here in Ponyville, where I could hang out and have fun with you and your friends. <laughs> Princess Twilight told Sunset Shimmer, I'm so glad you're here, Sunset Shimmer! Pinkie Pie said in her high-pitched, high-energy voice that she talked in, Oh my, we could have a welcome back to Equestria Sunset Shimmer's on vacation party! Sunset Shimmer told Pinkie Pie, That actually sounds nice, but maybe later. Today, I kind of just want to take a walk around Ponyville. Princess Twilight, will you show me around? Princess Twilight asked Sunset Shimmer, You've never been to Ponyville before, even when you used to live at Equestria! Sunset Shimmer told her, Not really. I've only been in Candelot in the Crystal Empire. Rarity told Sunset Shimmer in the British accent with a hint of high society thrown in there that she talks in. Why did you say that more than once? It was dumb f the first time. Why even repeat it? That's silly, and I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, Sunset, darling, when you get done, you simply must come to the Carousel Boutique so that I can make you a dress. 
Uh, is she a pony, by the way? That was not explained. Is she just a human walking along? Sunset Shimmer told her, Wow, thank you. I'll be sure to do that. I forgot the voice for a second. I have to remember all the voices. <laughs> all my classic voices. I love these voices that I can give to these people. It's fun. So Princess Twilight and Spike walked with Sunset Shimmer around Ponyville and even introduced them to some of her other friends around town who aren't Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, or Rarity, such as Derpy Hooves, Cheerily, Mr. and Mrs. Cake, Big Macintosh, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders. This is making its way out to be a really, really good story. I'm glad that I can get so invested in the plot. <laughs> Sunset Shimmer told Twilight to Koopin, <laughs> Wow, Princess Twilight, I can't believe it. All of the ponies we met today act and even look a little bit like people I know and have met in Canterlot Shitty. <laughs> Princess Twilight suggested to her, Why don't we just refer to it as the human world? Yeah, because you have a terrible accent that will cause the city to be sound weird. Sunset Shimmer agreed with her and said, Okay, human world it is. Princess Twilight asked her, By the way, speaking of the human world, you haven't really mentioned such about the sirens while writing to me. Where have they been up to now that they can't put any money under a spell through a singing? Uh, is that from Rainbow Rocks? Mm. I don't even know whether I want to see that. Like, comment, and favorite if you want to see me watch Rainbow Rocks. I'll do a, fr I'll do a freaking live commentary on Rainbow Rocks. I'll do it. You and I both know it. Uh... Oh, Sunset Shimmer told her, "I'm not sure, really. Some days they show up at school, but some days they don't. So I can't really say I've seen much of them today." Princess Twilight told her, "Hmm, interesting. Clearly not interested." Princess Twilight then told Sunset Shimmer and Spike, Let's go see Rarity right now! I promise you're gonna love her dresses! Sunset Shimmer told Princess Twilight, If they're anything like the dresses that Rarity makes back in the human world, then I'll have to agree with you. This is getting bo- This is a boring fic. I've never re read a fic with so many thumbs down that was boring. Because that's just kind of what it is. It's not fun. It's just sort of sludgy to walk through. <laughs> So Sunset Shimmer, Princess Twilight, and Spike went to Carousel Boutique, where Sunset Shimmer asked Rarity to make her a beautiful orange dress that looks similar to the miniskirt that she wears back in the human world, except it's a dress so it's longer. Thank you for that, GBZ Pony Ninja. I needed to know it. Anyway, Sunset Shimmer told Rarity while giving her a hug at the same time, Oh, thank you, Rarity. I love this dress so much, thank you. Wait, so did she already make it? Rarity told Sunset Shimmer she returned the hug, You're welcome, dear. I'm glad that you like it. Anyway, Princess Twilight, Rarity, Sunset Shimmer, and Spike all went to Sugar Cube Coomer whether they, Pinkie Pie threw her a party. However, at the party, Sunset Shimmer did all the ponies there. She had told. She didn't do all the ponies there. She told She told them. I'm sorry. <sighs> told all the ponies there. She started to cry tears of joy. Duh. Thank you, every pony. You have all made me feel welcome. Oh. Thank you, everybody. You've all made me feel well. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad to be back. Thank you very much. Anyway, every pony and Spike are enjoying the party. And Spike. Every pony and Spike. Poor Spike. Are enjoying the party, but at the party, Lyra Heart Strings and Bon Bon approach Sunset Shimmer, and Lyra asks Sunset Shimmer, Ooh, new voice, new voice! Mm. Wow, oh, new voice. So I've heard that you've been to a place called the Human World. That's good. That'll work. <laughs> so I've heard that you've been to a place called the Human World. Sunset Shimmer thinks to herself out loud. You are just like the liar from the Human World. She acted the same way when she found out I came from Equestria. What a worthless story. Like, there is no reason for this thing to exist. There's no interest held there's no cleverness, you know. There's no anything. I just can't help it. It's just so... Uh, this, that's the end. That's the end of the story. It ended on that beautiful high note. Like, of all the things for it to end on, it ended on that. 
So now I have really nothing to say to you except until next time. Boo!